what's up everyone so sorry i haven't posted a ton unfortunately i just haven't had time through the holidays and everything speaking of i hope you all had a great christmas hanukkah whatever you happen to celebrate and i hope you had a fun new year's so yeah without further ado let's talk about what i've been up to <laughs> over this time so i did a couple things well printed a couple things for my fly sky here we've got this control knob and then another knob for control of channel six here and for my SEX10, I went and printed a, a, a bumper here from Thingiverse. Unfortunately, there was a bit of a layer shift partway through, but otherwise it come out fine. You can literally pick the truck up from the bull bar. So yeah, that's good. I did go and put my channel on it, of course, and then some leaves. Those of you that know what kind of leaf that is, you know. So yeah, the uh, winch... The controller that this thing come with sucked. So I just took an old servo that had a bad motor and modified the board. That way I can control it on channel four here. Speaking, if you're gonna do a winch on a GT5 transmitter, use channel four, it works great. I also went and did the uh, back bumper here. So this is another file from Thingiverse, and I did modify it a little bit. I went and modeled a hitch receiver right here because I'd like to be able to tow my little scale trailer with this thing. And I added these, uh, oh, what would they be called? Uh, just mount for like a D hook. And I'm not expecting them to hold up too long. I don't think they're gonna handle like any yanking or anything, but we'll see. And then lastly, before we get to the lift, I went and modeled this up for my land anchor. So we've got a little hook here that goes on the D-ring right here. And then a clip. All you got to do is pop that off. Whenever you want to use it, slip the hook back. And then snap it back down. And this thing's in here pretty good. I can almost pick up the whole truck with it. So it ain't going nowhere. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I did center caps for all of the uh, nuts here. I think I mentioned the sliders. And then quickly, before we move on to the 3D printed drift car and what I've been doing on it, underneath. Now, ignore these reservoirs. I thought it'd be cool to try this out and everything, and it just doesn't work out too well. As you can see, I don't have a great way to mount them. I might be able to model something up, but I don't know. They don't seem to do anything. I think I'm just gonna model up a uh, plug to put in here and just eliminate these all together because the RC all-wheel drive shocks, they're pretty dang good. But these reservoirs, they're just more annoying than anything. So just being honest. Now the lift, being I only had front shock hoops when I put this together, I had to model my own custom little lift here. As you can see, it's just a little adapter that moves the shock down a tiny bit. And then in the front, it's just a little bit different, a little bit longer, but same principle. And that was so I could squeeze my growlers on here. And let me tell you, these tires are so much better than the stock TF2 tires that I used to have on this. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this thing. I'll go ahead and unplug it, and then I'll show you what's going on with the uh, 3D printed drift car here. So we've got the chassis. Let me lower the camera. Because it's going to need to be low here. And as you can see, I need shocks yet. And I have the electronics and everything. Just no point in putting them on without shocks. I got to go find a bolt that's long enough to go through here. I only had one, so right now that's just held with a nail. But the big thing I've been working on, and part of this is still printing, so I don't have the full body yet. But... I'm actually gonna have to turn it around here. We've got the rear quarter panel, whatever you wanna call it. The mid section. And then the front. So of course this all has to be glued together and cleaned up and everything, but something like that. And then if I add the other front piece here, 
I'm sure you guys will get what I'm going for here. So, some things are going to have to be tweaked and trimmed and everything, I'm sure. But that is a Ford Econoline that I'm printing out. You can see the layer lines. I'm definitely going to have to do a lot of sanding and everything. But I think this thing is going to come out pretty cool. Here's the rear. So right now I'm printing the other piece here. Then I got to do the other rear piece and the roof. The roof's going to take the longest, but I did go and make it a uh, chop top. So it's going to be lower than the normal roof. And I'm hoping this thing will come out looking pretty sweet. So that's an update on this since I can't really complete the chassis itself for like a test run. I'm going to get to work on this body and we'll see what we can do about it. As you can see though, it's quite a bit wider, the uh, chassis, than the body. So I might have to figure out what to do about that because I don't really want it up like that. I'd like to get it down. So yeah, we'll see what I can do about that. You know, first try, I really don't want to have to reprint it all again, but if I have to, I will. This thing's taken almost a week. So uh, not exactly quick at printing. But yeah, that's it for this update. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you're interested in seeing this stuff completed. It might take some time, but it will get there. And yeah, as always, be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. It really helps out. Share the video around. And be sure to hit that thumb icon. That helps a ton too, so YouTube starts plugging the videos again. I'll talk to you all in the next one. TTFN.